Meet Recraft AI, the magic behind these incredible creations. With this text-to-image art generator, you can turn your ideas into breathtaking images in just seconds. Picture it, type it, and watch your imagination come alive. Ready to give it a try? First, let's visit the Recraft AI website. Click the Get Recraft Free button in the top right corner to get started. To use Recraft, you will need to create an account, which you can do via email, Google, Apple ID, or Discord. For this tutorial, I will log in with my Google account. Before accessing the main site, Recraft will ask a few quick questions about your job, your goals for using the platform, and how you found out about it. Just answer these simple prompts, and you will be directed to the panel selection page. As of the release of this tutorial, Recraft AI offers a completely free plan with plenty of credits for creating amazing images using its text-to-image service. With the free plan, you will get 50 free credits every day, which refresh automatically. Just keep in mind that images created on the free plan are stored publicly, so if privacy is important to you, that option is available only in the paid plans. Another difference is that the free plan lets you generate up to two images per session while the paid plan increases this limit to four images per session. To get started, I simply click Select Plan to choose the free option. On the new page, you will see various items that explain the platform's features. I select all of them and delete them by clicking the Delete button to keep things simple. On the left side, there's a Create New Box with four main options, Image, Frame, Image Set, Mockup. Each of these options is designed to make image creation easier and more versatile. I click on the image option and a canvas appears in the center of the page. Now you will need to set the size and aspect ratio. You can choose between square, vertical, and horizontal dimensions, depending on the platform you are designing for. For this tutorial, I select the 16 to 9 option and set the canvas size to 3840 by 2160. Just below the canvas size settings, there's a drop-down list with a variety of presets and illustration models. These allow you to transform your image into styles like vector art, hand-drawn, HDR, bold sketch, black and white, risograph, retro pop, pixel art, etc. To apply any style, just click apply next to the one you want. I am choosing Recraft V3 Raw, one of the latest styles available, to add a modern edge to my design. In the image generation panel, you will see options for public and private images. Keep in mind that the private option is only available with paid plans. Also, on the free plan, you can generate up to two images per session, while the paid plan allows up to four images per session. Another handy feature is the zoom functionality for the canvas, located in the bottom right corner. You can adjust the zoom level using percentages. I set mine to 30%, which I find ideal for centering the canvas on the page. To reposition the canvas, simply click and drag it in any direction you like. In the image generation panel, there's also a box where you can enter prompts to guide your image creation. Now, it's time to test the capabilities of this AI. First, I want to see how well it can create images of celebrities. To do this, I have written a prompt to generate an image of Angelina Jolie. I paste the prompt into the text box and click the Recraft button. My request is added to the queue, and after a few moments, the images are ready. Since I am using the free plan, Recraft AI has generated two images of Angelina Jolie. I click on the thumbnails to review them, and as you can see, the results are impressive. The Recraft AI image generator has effectively translated my prompt into visuals using the text-to-image feature. For our second test, let's see if Recraft AI can create images in styles like cartoon or 3D animation. I have prepared a prompt using the keywords 3D cartoon to generate an image of Dwayne Johnson in this style. I paste the prompt into the text box and click Recraft. My request enters the queue, and after a few seconds, the new images are ready. We have two thumbnails, and upon reviewing them, you can see that the AI did an outstanding job generating images in the 3D cartoon style. The results are both fun and impressive. To download an image, simply click on the Export button in the top right corner of the site. Under Resolution, I enter the desired dimensions, 3840 by 2160 in this case, and choose the format, JPEG or PNG. I go with JPEG for this export. For the third test, I want Recraft to generate images of ordinary people. I delete the previous prompt, paste my new prompt into the text box, and click Recraft. My request enters the queue, and after a few seconds, the new images are ready. 
the results are impressive once again. The images of ordinary people are beautifully generated, showcasing the AI's versatility in creating realistic visuals. Now on to the fourth test. This time I am putting Recraft to the challenge of generating animal images. And what better animal to test than the majestic tiger? I have got a prompt ready, so I drop it into the text box and hit Recraft. After a brief moment in the queue, the results are in, and wow, they don't disappoint. Two thumbnails pop up, and when I click on them, it's clear that the AI nailed it. The tiger looks incredible. Recraft has definitely proven its skills with this one. It's time to put Recraft's text to image feature to the test with an iconic tourist spot. For this round, I have prepared a prompt for none other than the Eiffel Tower. I drop the prompt into the text box, stick with the same settings as before, and click Recraft. The fifth request hops into the queue, and in just a few seconds, the results are ready. Two thumbnails appear, and upon reviewing them, I am genuinely impressed. The AI has outdone itself, delivering precise and breathtaking visuals of the Eiffel Tower. Talk about capturing the essence of a global icon. Next up, let's take Recraft for a spin to see how well it generates a car image in a specific style. Cyberpunk, complete with glowing neon effects. I have crafted a cyberpunk-inspired prompt, pasted it into the text box, and kept the initial settings unchanged. With a quick click on Recraft, the sixth request is in the queue, and within seconds, the results are ready to dazzle. The images are nothing short of extraordinary, bold, unique, and full of that futuristic cyberpunk vibe. Not a single flaw in sight. Recraft continues to impress, nailing every prompt with precision and creativity. For the seventh test, let's see how this AI handles logo creation. I have got a pre-written logo prompt ready to go. I paste it into the text box, leave the settings as they are, and hit Recraft. The seventh request enters the queue, and in just a moment, the logo designs are ready. The results? Fascinating. The AI has generated some intriguing logos, and with a bit of prompt refinement, these designs could become even more impressive. Recraft definitely has potential in the logo making department. To view all the images we have created, simply click on the gallery option in the bottom right corner of the website. A panel will slide open on the right. Under the history tab, you will find a complete list of all your creations with Recraft, giving you full access to revisit or download them anytime. I hope my tests and reviews have given you a clear idea of what Recraft can do. While there are still plenty of features left to explore, we will save those for future tutorials to keep things concise. Keep in mind that plans may change over time, and there's no guarantee the free plan will always be available. If you are watching this video months from now, Recraft's offerings might look different. As a content creator, I do my best to give you the most accurate, up-to-date information possible, so I hope you can view my content with that in mind. Right now, I recommend starting with the free plan Recraft AI offers. It lets you experiment with the platform, create unique images, and see if it's a good fit for your needs, all without any cost. If you find that you are getting a lot out of it, you can always upgrade to their paid plans, starting at just $10 a month, for more features and flexibility. Did you enjoy this tutorial? Don't keep it to yourself. Smash that like button and share it with your friends. This is just the beginning, and there's so much more exciting content waiting for you right here. If AI excites you, you are in the perfect place. Subscribe now and hit that bell icon so you never miss a new video. Let's explore the incredible future of AI together, because the future is AI. See you in the next tutorial.